Union Minister Prahlad Singh Patel today criticized Congress leader Rahul Gandhi after he called Indian Union Muslim League a completely secular party. The mindset that calls the Muslim League secular is dangerous, Patel said. I believe that B Congress or Rahul Gandhi, if they say Muslim League is secular, they are sowing seeds of division, he added. The Delhi High Court asked jail AAP leader Mani Sisodia lawyer to inform why the liquor excise policy was withdrawn if it was good. The court made the remark while hearing a bell plea of AAP communication in charge Vijay Nair in connection to the ED case filed over the policy. The court asked Sisodia lawyer to get a definite reply. Pakistan origin Canadian businessman Tahoa Rana filed a writ of habeas corpus challenging his extradition to India, where he faces trial for his involvement in the 2611 Mumbai terror attacks. His extradition was approved by the U.S. District Court Central District of California. U.S. government attorneys argued during hearings that Rana assisted his friend Pakistani American David Coleman Hadley. Former U.S. State Secretary Mike Pompeo said India did an amazing work in deterring China at the borders during the 2020 standoff. Pompeo, who was State Secretary then, said India should be very proud of the way it defended itself. He added that the U.S. had provided India with things it needed to prevent China from continuing this indecent onslaught. At least 56 passengers were injured after a Himachal Road Transport Corporation bus. They were traveling and crashed into a hill in Shimla today, police said. Preliminary investigations have revealed that brake failure led to the accident, police added. Earlier on Thursday, at least 40 people were injured after an HRTC bus fell into a gorge in Mandi. Prince Harry will become the first British royal to appear in the witness box since the 1890s when he testifies next week in his lawsuit against Mirror Group newspapers. Harry and over 100 other people are suing MGN publisher of the Daily Mirror, the Sunday Mirror and the Sunday People, accusing it of using unlawful activities to gain information. India's 1983 World Cup winning team issued a statement on wrestlers' protests where distress and disturb and unseemly visuals of our champion wrestlers being manhandled, the statement read. We are also most concerned that thinking of dumping hard-earned medals into River Ganga, we urge them not to take any hasty decision and also fervently hope their grievances are heard, it added.